Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you five quick tips to build dump tubes that won't break. Dump tubes are the number one thing that we get in for weld repair and there's no question as to why. Dump tubes take a ton of heat, a ton of vibration comes out of the wastegate, and there's a lot of ways that you can go wrong when building them. So stay tuned, we're going to show you how to build ones that won't break. Just like any project working with stainless steel, prep's gonna be one of the most important parts. Make sure you scotch bright your material, and then after you're done scotch brighting it, on a scotch bright wheel or by hand, use a clean rag and acetone your material. Now before you tack your dump tube, you wanna make sure you got a nice, sharp, clean piece of tungsten. I'm currently running a 332nd E3 and this one's actually just sharpened on a belt sander currently. My tungsten grinder is actually broken. Now in order to make dump tubes that won't break, you gotta back purge when you're welding them. On this side, I'm actually gonna use a part that we've welded together because you're gonna have quite a bit of heat up against the flange, so we can't use a piece of silicone here. It'll, it'll just deteriorate. You could run a diffuser on the end of the line, but as long as you're back purging, that's all that really matters. On this side, we're gonna use a high temp silicone plug that's got some slots in it so that we can evacuate the argon, get all the oxygen out of it. All right, now it's time to weld. On the thin wall part of this, I'm gonna be welding with an 045 filler, making sure that I get full penetration on all the joints. And then up here on the flange, I'm gonna use a 1 308 to weld that. If you're not 100% sure if you're getting full penetration on these welds, it's probably a good idea to take some practice material, tack it together, weld it, and double check before you start building the dump tubes. It will be important that you get full penetration down here on all these joints. All right, I've got it back purged and I'm flowing about 12 CFH on my back purge. I try to run around 10 to 12 CFH for my back purge because anything higher than that, I find that it starts to push back through some of the joints, especially on smaller tube, like inch and a half or inch and three quarter, typically what you're gonna use for a dump tube build. I'm running an old school titanium cup, but any large cup from Puric or edge welding cups or anything like that will do. Typically to get a quality weld though, you are gonna want to run a bigger cup like this. Now when I switch up to the flange, I'm gonna to go to my 16th inch 308 filler.
All right, now that we got it all done, just go ahead and check that you've got a decent penetration on the flange. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect since you're welding with 16th inch up here. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful uh, learning how to build dumb tubes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and like and subscribe for more.